Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, let me hear you guys say it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up and that bell so that each and every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. I know you guys are tuned in for Guatemala part two, Guatemala part two. I left y'all hanging. So I am so excited to let you guys see what happened. Um, but before we get into that vacation vlog, let me tell you guys about a product that I used throughout the whole time I was in Guatemala. And I need to put y'all on. I need to put y'all on. So I'm going to take a second just to um, introduce the sponsor of this video, Hi O. So thank you, Hi O, for sponsoring this video. Um, basically, the product that I was able to use throughout the whole time I was on vacation was their boob tape. Now, as you can see, this baby, I've been using it, okay? It's small, like it's basically almost done. But I absolutely love this product. Um, when they reached out to me and asked me to try their product, I was like, baby, the best time to use this and see if it really works is on vacation. Because you know why? Your girl doesn't like to wear bras. I like to for the babies to be out this summer because we're going to be outside this, this summer. We're going to be outside this summer. But they're going to be up, they got to be perky, and they got to be looking nice. You know what I mean? The boobies got to be boobies. Okay. So it's got to give this summer. It's got to give. So I used this boob tape throughout my whole vacation and I absolutely loved it. Um, the other part that comes with it is a satin nipple um, a satin nipple cover, which is amazing just because when you take off the nipple cover, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt your nipples or anything, your areola, and that's one thing that I absolutely love about it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the outfits that I was able to um, wear using my boob tape. So let's get into it real quick, guys. So I'm looking down because I'm looking at my phone. The first one is this black off the shoulder shirt, off the shoulder dress that I absolutely love. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. So it's off the shoulder, right? And the one thing that I love about this boob tape is that when I wrapped it around this way so that it doesn't show, because a lot of time when we use boob tapes, we wrap, we tape them up this way, right? But I was able to tape it around so that it could still be perky and, you know, perky and nice but still nobody will know that I have it on, okay? Let's get into this black dress. It was super cute. It lasted all day. Remind you, Guatemala was a little humid, so I was hot, um, but it lasted, and the best part is no one knew I had boot tape on. Okay. It didn't show the print, it didn't show anything on the dress, and I absolutely love it. The next outfit that I was able to wear was like a, nice silky um, light dress that was like basically see-through on the back and I loved it okay the most part that I love about it is that when even when you look in the back like my shoulder area you could not tell that I had the boot tape and my boots are perking okay baby it may it looks so good in the outfit even in the front you could not tell that I had the dress on absolutely love it killed it and lastly the last one the last fit that I wore, I wore a lot of fits, but this is like my top three that I absolutely love was this rumper, baby. When I tell you I got so many compliments on this rumper, ooh, child, it was so, so nice. I love it. And that day, I remember it was really humid that day, so I put it on and it was just like, it, it was sticky. It, do, it did what it had to do. It understood the assignment. The boot tape absolutely understood the assignment, okay? It didn't peel off, it didn't do anything, and then when it was time for me to take it off, it didn't hurt at all. Guys, guys, you absolutely have to try high old boob tape. A1, A1. So, I'll leave my discount code down below, guys, so you can go ahead and try in the link down below, so you can go to their website and purchase. Um, so, thank you, Hi-O, for 
for, um, for sponsoring this video. I'm super, super excited. I love this. And yeah, guys, so let me know if you guys purchased and you actually tried it. Let me know what you think about it. I love you guys. And let's get to part two of Guatemala. Guys, I'm still in Guatemala City. I took my COVID test and I'm positive. beautiful people so just I don't I don't even know where to start guys so your girl is still in Guatemala I know the last time you saw me I think the last clip you saw was the room tour the hotel tour I think at Marriott was it that one Oh no, the last clip you saw was when I actually got my COVID results and said I was positive. I know I left you guys hanging. It's been a couple of days now. Today's the fourth day and I actually have the strength to finally pick up the camera and talk to you guys. So, I made me a little bit of breakfast. I made boiled eggs. Um, toast and coffee you guys saw that in a previous clip and i was like hey now that I, I am out of my feelings and i am put together again i could finally have a chit chat sit down chit chat with you guys and explain what happened so it is 10 and 19 of my time 10 in the morning and yeah, so I just wanted to sit with you guys and explain the situation. So let's get into it. So as you guys all know, in order to get back to the U.S., you need to have a negative COVID test, right? Um, let me rewind a little bit to figure out where this all happened. Um... So, Dee and I took a COVID test. Um, we took a COVID test the day before our flight because it has to be no more than 24 hours, right? And Dee's flight was early in the morning. I think her flight was like 1.30 in the morning. And when we came back from late Atilan, we went to a lab and we both took our COVID test. Fine. We were good, negative, right? 
And it's from D left. The next day, I had to travel to the airport so I could get on my flight. I get to the airport and they're telling me that um, there's something wrong with the aircraft so they won't be flying out today. Okay, cool. And that um, the next available flight won't be until three days later. So they changed my flight for me. I was able to get an Airbnb, blah, blah, cool, whatever. And went to my Airbnb. I was like a little devastated that I had to stay behind. But I was like, you know what? I'm in Guatemala City. This gives me time to be by myself, explore the city a little bit, blah, 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 whatever. But I didn't really do much. I decided just to stay in the Airbnb because I was like, you know what? I don't really want to walk around by myself, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to stay by myself. All right, the third day came, comes up, I gotta go get another COVID test. So I'm like, you know what, let me just go to the airport so that I could fill out the paperwork, do everything there, and then from there, um, I'll come back when I get my results and then pack up so the next day I could fly out. So I go to the airport to take my COVID test. Take my COVID test, feeling fine, blah, blah, blah. I'm waiting in the waiting area and they call me. They call my name and they put me in a, in a uh, weird room. So I'm looking like, what is going on? And they're like, your test came back positive. I'm like, wait, what? They're like, yeah, your test came back positive. How, Sway? How? I'm like, no, 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 no. Are you sure? They're like, yes, it came back. It came back positive. Remind you, I don't speak the language, guys. Excuse me. So I am using like um, Google Translator so that I could conversate, you know, with them. So they're like, yeah, your test came back positive and we have to isolate you. I'm like, they're like, we have to put you in a, we have to put you in an isolation room. So you have to be by yourself, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I was like, I have an Airbnb. I quickly looked on the Airbnb app and I saw that the Airbnb that I'm staying had um, more days that I could rent it out. So I was like, I have an Airbnb. I'll just go back to the Airbnb and stay there. And they're like, oh, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, why not? And then the other thing is it was like, oh, um, we're going to have to take your passport. Who? Who? Whose passport? Not mine. You're not taking my passport. I was like, what do you need my passport for? Oh, we just need it for a quick second. Oh, no, that was a huge red flag. But they said that I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I was like, you guys are not taking my passport. I don't care. You're not taking my passport. And they were like, oh, we're going to have to call security. Call security because I don't care. You're not taking my passport. So they call security. So I'm like kind of freaking out. But I'm trying so hard not to cry. Right. I call my mom and I'm like to my mom. Um, yo, they're trying to take my passport. They try to isolate. My mom was like, don't give them your passport. And she was like, and don't go to the isolation room. Whatever you do, don't go. I was like, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I called my sister. My sister's like, stay on the phone with me. Stay on the phone with me. So I'm on the phone with my sister the whole time. And she's trying to calm me down. So then they finally, security finally comes. And he speaks a little bit of English. And he was nice. And he was like, so what's the problem? I was like, you know, they told me that my test came back positive. He was like, do you want to take another one? But you're going to have to pay for it. I was like, I'll take another one, but I'll take another one in another lab, like the lab that I went to before, you know? <laughs> Excuse me. So he was like, okay. He was like, you know, usually we have to put people in an isolation room and we have to take their passport. I was like, I'm not giving you my passport. He was like, okay, that's fine. He was like, but I'm going to have to escort you out the airport. I was like, okay, that's cool. He was really nice. So he escorted me out the pass. I mean, excuse me, escorted me out the airport and I end up getting a taxi because I was so furious. Like I could not wait for an Uber. They do have Uber here, guys, by the way. I could not wait for an Uber. I took a taxi. That's a whole nother story. That taxi jipped me off, but that's a whole nother story. I didn't care. Get to my Airbnb and I am devastated. I'm crying. I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. Yo, if anybody was to ever ask me, what is the scariest thing when traveling is this right here. Getting stuck in a whole other country with COVID and not understanding, not even um, being able to speak the language. Bruh, 
Yo. Out of all places, I've been traveling for so long and I get COVID here. Nah. Huh? Make it make sense. I'm so confused, okay? So I get home, I'm devastated, I'm crying, I'm calling my mom, I tell Janelle, and everyone's like calling me, checking up on me. D is like, me and D talk all the time. Like throughout the day, we're talking all the time. Her and my sister, we talk every single day, like every two seconds of the day, we're always talking. So I'm crying, I'm devastated, and um, that's when like I start feeling a little bit of symptoms like I started getting like a little bit of headache and then my throat started hurting a little bit so I wasn't sure if I was getting the headaches because of um, me crying or was it really the COVID symptoms I was not sure but I was like all over the place so then um, I took a day for myself and I just like literally like cried myself to sleep I literally cried myself to sleep guys like it was the worst, okay? And it's not bad. I need you guys to understand. I'm not, I wasn't crying because of COVID. Like, everyone gets COVID, like, and it's cool. I get it. The fact that I'm stuck in a different country, that's what's mind-blowing to me. Like, I'm stuck here for 10 days. I have to quarantine for 10 days by myself. That's what's like, that's what like was like, yo, this is real. What? So I cry myself to sleep. People are calling me. I don't want to pick up. I don't want to talk to anybody, whatever. The next day, I'm like, I need to quarantine, but I need to get food. So I um, text my, um, the Airbnb guy. And he's like, yeah. You could use the Walmart app to um, get food and they could deliver, get groceries and they'll deliver for you to you. I was like, okay, great, perfect. So I did that. And I got it. Excuse me, guys. I'm not going to lie. I really, really like this Airbnb, guys. If you're going to be sitting stayed in Guatemala City for like either a day or a couple of days so that you could go venture out to the other part of Guatemala. This Airbnb, excuse me, is really, really nice, guys. Like, it's in a safe zone. So the two zones that are really safe in Guatemala is Zone 9 and Zone 10. <coughs> excuse me. And right now, I'm in, I'm in Zone 9. So, um, it's top-notch security. Like, even when Walmart dropped off my delivery, they had to call me to let me know that Walmart was here and if it's okay for them to come up to drop it off behind the door, okay? And there's always security downstairs. You need a badge to get in and get out. It's like top notch. Like, and I really, really, really like it. So I really feel safe here. So this Airbnb is definitely nice like i'll show you guys around i'll give you guys a, a airbnb tour but i gotta tidy up a little bit just because yeah i haven't been feeling myself and i threw everything everywhere so i have to clean up and then i'll show you guys around but yeah guys so i ordered everything that my parents told me to order yo when i tell you haitian parents i don't know if it's just a caribbean thing but they be knowing okay like they be telling me the remedies my dad told, went down the list of things for me to buy and for me to do, my nose keep getting clogged up. And for me to buy things and for me to um, do the remedies here. Bruh, I will show you the tea that my dad had me make, okay? And, like, it literally cleared my um, migraines. Like, yo, that, that's a whole different thing. I'll show you guys because I have to do it again today. So I'll show you guys. But, honestly, guys, if it wasn't for my family, my close friends... My bro, yo, yo, like you guys are my backbone. Like seriously, like everyone's that, that's been checking up on me, my sister, 
Dee Dee, Janelle, Linda, my boy, my parents. Like, yo, yo, y'all the real MVP. Like, even when I don't feel like picking up the phone, y'all just keep calling and calling and calling until I pick up. And I love you guys for that because if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to survive here. Huh? But I am really grateful, guys. Like, I'm so grateful because a lot of people who I heard that had um, COVID, they couldn't get out of bed. They don't have their um, taste. They can't breathe. I don't have none of that. Um, I'm able to get up. I'm able to do things like uh, my throat was hurting at one point and I had a headache and that's it. And today I feel like my nose is a little bit stuffy, but that's it. So I am so grateful. But at first, guys, I was so devastated and I was like, I can't believe this, God. Like, I all places I get COVID here. Like, I was just like freaking out. I was so annoyed. Like, I know, God, I know. I'm sorry. Like. It was bad, guys. It was so bad. But now I'm in a better bad space. <laughs> I legit prayed a lot. Um, and I have to learn that a lot of times there's a lot of things that are out of your control. And there's nothing you can really do about it. So I legit just have to let it be. I got COVID and it's okay. And I'm going to go back home. I'm claiming it. I'm going back home, guys. After my 10 days of quarantine, I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. So, yeah. So, this is why your girl is here. I'm still in Guatemala. And I have, today's what, day four? Yeah, today's day four. So, I have six more days to go. And I don't know. If I really be vlogging, guys, I'll probably do a little bit of vlog here and there. Like, I don't know, what I've been doing, like laundry, I'm going to have to do laundry. I'll give you guys an Airbnb tour. I've been cooking more, so I'll cook with you guys. Like, little stuff like that. But, yeah. So, that's the story, guys. That's the story. Hey guys. <laughs> so it's been a few hours and your girl took a bath, a shower basically. Um, and I'm wearing this other robe you guys seen in the um, Guatemala vlog. Uh, purple is my favorite color. Janelle got me this robe because she was tired of my other robes. So she got me this robe. I'm just kidding. I love it. Um, it's long. Let's move back so you guys can see the full view. So, um, yeah, so I tidied up a little bit, I finished eating breakfast, and I just wanted to go show you guys um, the Airbnb real quick. Um, don't judge me, because it's not perfect, because I've been here for four days now, so. Um, so, yeah, so let's get into this Airbnb tour. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Ooh, let's go. Okay guys, so behind me is the door. And then, <clears throat> when you walk in, the first thing you see is the fridge. Okay, that's the fridge, sink, stove. Oh, I'm actually making the remedy that my dad told me about. If you're Haitian, trust me, you know about this. So it's basically an orange peel. You peel off the skin of the orange. You put cinnamon and you also put um, cloves in. So these are all, this is a clove and this is a, the cinnamon stick. I have more over there. And then you just let it boil 
and then once it boils, you take a cup of that, you drink it, and then yeah. So, all right, so that's the stove. Turning to uh, my right, this is the little section, the little table that I was sitting at and having breakfast and talking to you guys earlier. And then in here is the laundry. Sorry for the long noise, I the loud noise. I am doing laundry right now, so that's why. But this could shut and open and the other side too, like this. So, like that. This is a little sitting couch area, which is really cute. I like how they decorated the wall over there. Get into the details. Love it, love it, love it. Carpet. And then when you keep going, there is a balcony out here, which is super, super cute. I haven't sat on it yet just because of COVID. I really just want to stay inside. Um, but yeah, that's the balcony and you could slide this open, but you do have to unlock it first on this side. And then you open the door, you could go out that way or you could go out this way. Um, I love this little basket right here with all the, um, uh, what is it, the bottle, the wine bottle tops, corkscrew I think they call them, whatever. It's cute, I love it. Okay, so then we keep going and then towards my right is the nice stairs that goes all the way upstairs, which I really like. It's small, but I like it. Um, so uh, let's go upstairs. All right, and then when you come upstairs, there is the bed. Um, the bed was, you know, it was made better when I when I first got here. I threw all the pillows over there. I just changed the sheets and stuff today and the pillowcases. Come on, focus. Yeah, okay. I changed the pillowcase and everything, so that's the bed. Um, and then this is a closet with a mirror and a fan and then my jacket, all my stuff is over here. And then if you keep going, here is the bathroom. It's small, but it's perfect for one person. Pretty clean. And then over here is the TV. They have a laundry bag right here. They have more towels and stuff down here. It was actually on the bed, really cute, but I took it off. And then there's like a little sitting area, so if you want to do work and stuff like that. And then I put down all the um, shades because, yeah, I just wanted it down. So um, you could put those up if you want. And yeah, so. Yeah, that is the Airbnb that I'm staying at, guys. Can you guys see me? Okay, so that is the Airbnb that I'm staying at, guys. Um, I really like it here. It's super small, but super cozy. Um, I would definitely recommend it. I will put the link down below. Um, so now I'm just waiting for my tea to be done. I'm going to drink that. And then probably relax and just watch um, Netflix or catch up on vlogs I'm not sure um, but yeah so I will catch you later if I decide to cook I might just make me a salad today so I'm not sure but if I decide to cook today I will take you guys along with me all right Toodles. hey guys so it is two days later since the last time I spoke to you guys, when I gave a whole splege of what happened and then I gave you guys a room tour. So it's two days later. Um, you know, I wasn't really feeling myself. I was kind of in a bad mood, so I didn't really want to pick up the camera. I didn't do much. I just, what can you do? You're stuck in an Airbnb, so. Um, but this morning, um, I don't know, I'm not saying I'm sad or anything, but I'm still a little in my feelings, especially because um, 
I try to get more information about how to go home from here. Like, okay, so after my quarantining, quarantine is up, do I go back to the lab where I took my COVID test to see if I'm positive or negative? And if I am positive, um, do I get a letter? Like, I'm just all over the place and not really know what to do. So this morning when I was talking to my sister, she, her best friend, um, Gri, um, speaks Spanish. So I gave her all my information and gave her the phone number so that she could talk, contact the lab people to let me know how to go about going home, you know? And so when she spoke to them, basically they were like, oh, um, um, basically what she, what they said was that I have to actually go to an actual clinic, so a hospital, get the COVID test um, to prove that I'm still positive. But if it's negative, then I'm good. If I'm positive, then um, they would have to give me a letter saying that, you know, I quarantine, I'm good. It's still in my system, but I'm not um, able to expose it to other people. So I'm not contagious anymore, right? So, but they were saying that you have to pay for all that. Like I have to, I already knew I would have to pay for the COVID test, but to pay to get a, a letter, they were trying to say that it's $150 US. I'm like, what? Yo, guys, I just, yo. So that kind of made me get into my feelings. So I'm just like, you know what? When my quarantine time is up, guys, and I go to that clinic, the hospital, because there is a um, medical hospital, like, literally down the street from here. If I go there, guys, mark my word, if I go there, I get a negative test, thank you, Jesus, I will fly out the next day. If I get another positive test and they do not want to give me a letter or they try to make me pay for that letter, guys, I'm going to the embassy. I don't care if it means I have to roll on the floor, cry, whatever it is. I'm going to the embassy. I'm getting my home, okay? So that is the plan. That's the plan. And I don't, I don't, I don't care. I'm not, they're not getting any more of my money. I'm tired of being here. I need to go home. So if it doesn't work, whatever the situation is, I'm going to the embassy. So, yeah. So that's why I was a little bit in my feelings today, but I'm good. I just, I'm so ready to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, but anywho, I don't want to think about it. I am about to make my salad that I told you guys I was going to make like two days ago. Um, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So let's go make the salad and chat some more. Let's go. to get my COVID test and we will see where this goes. If I'm negative, I'm good. I could actually fly out tomorrow. Um, but if I'm positive, I will have to pay to get a, a written letter stating that I am um, not contagious anymore and that I am able to still fly. So keeping my fingers crossed that your girl is negative and that I won't have to pay for a letter because they do charge you for that. So, yeah, guys. Day 10. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put my shoes on and I'm going to head out. I'm 
passport. Key to get into the um, building. Phone and sweater because it looks like it's about to rain. So I will see you guys. I will see you guys when I get back. Your girl is back. And guys, I'm negative. Oh, I don't want y'all to see my full name. I'm negative. Negativo, negativo. Yeah. I'm coming home, guys. Yo. I'm coming home, guys. I'm COVID free. I'm COVID free. Yo, I'm so happy. Look at me, I'm drooling. I'm about to go pray, give God thanks, and then go finish pack, guys. We're going home. Going home. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Guys, it's day 11 and your girl is going home. I am going home, guys. Yay! It is currently, let's see, time 7.51. Um, I the fl our flights my flights at noon um but we board around 11 so I am um gonna make sure I be there around 8 15 8 no not 8 15 because it's 7 like 8 30 um I'll call the uber around 8 30 um the the airport is about 10 15 minutes away and then um, I already checked in and everything, but I want to make sure that um, I am able to go to the lounge. So that's why I want to get there a little early because they have two lounges, guys, two. So I want to check both of them out. Um, but yeah, so I just showered. I oiled up and everything. Um, I have I put a lot of oil on my face this time just because I noticed that I've been having like um, dry patches around my face. And I think it's just because of the water here. So definitely when I get back, I am going to do like a facial and do like um, my skincare routine because baby, I need it. So yeah, so um, I just oiled up. That's why I look greasy. Um, and then um, we're going to go finish pack. I'm in the closet right now. Um, I am. Let me show you guys. Oh, I don't want you guys to see my panties. Y'all don't need to see that. But this is the outfit I have out that I am going to wear. So actually, let me put it out right now. Put it on the bed. Um, so that is what I will be putting on for the... Um, for the airport um and then oh i do want to do my dad's um medicine thing the thing that i showed you guys last time i do want to do it one more time so let's go downstairs and actually turn on the fire let's go okay this is what I'm talking about. The remedy that my parents told me about. It's a little bit less. It's still strong. I'm going to 
turn it on. All right, so uh, nails. All right, guys. So while that is boiling, I am gonna go get dressed and then make sure I have everything. I'm basically done packing, but I just want to make sure I have everything. And then, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again when I am booking, when the Uber comes or when I get to the airport. I don't know, one of those. But yeah, I'm going home, guys. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, guys. Guatemala. Guatemala. I'm super excited to leave. Thank you for your services, but your girl has to go. <laughs> All right, guys, let me go get dressed. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Baby, I love you Why you tryna break us up? When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby, I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body Alright guys, I'm dressed and ready What? My Uber is literally one minute away guys One minute so yeah, I gotta make this quick. I'm about to check out, um, but just wanted to show you real quick. I have mad water bottles left. I have orange juice, milk, lemons, all of this left. I hope they actually take it or do something with it. I just hate wasting money and throwing things away. But let me go, my Uber's downstairs, one minute away. I will catch you guys at the lounge, all right? Bye. me to make sure I like did good like I passed security and everything so and that's why my phone keeps going off and I am so excited to eat and go home let's see 